Coming up on Around Kern County, new year, new job. We're sharing the historic raise for detention's deputy salaries and how you can apply. And it's time for Kern County to get healthy. We're giving you a look at a new campaign designed to support our mental and physical goals when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County and our first show of 2023. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off the new year with an exciting announcement for job seekers at the Kern County Sheriff's Office. This week, our Board of Supervisors implemented historic raises for detentions deputies. Their pay is going up 22% annually with a new salary of $5,479 to $6,548 per month. New hires will also receive a $15,000 recruitment bonus, which will be paid to them upon the start of their service. These efforts are part of Kern County's commitment to supporting recruitment and retention within our Sheriff's Office, a critical factor in keeping our community safe. Both Sheriff Youngblood and your board have identified staffing our detention ranks as a key priority in bolstering our ability to provide the community with public safety. Our county's priority is ensuring we provide the highest quality law enforcement to our residents. And in order to do so, we must remain competitive to attract top talent at a time where most public safety agencies across the nation are dealing with similar recruitment and retention issues. On behalf of the sheriff, we'd like to thank our CAO's office, our County Human Resources, and your board, um, and our Detentions Officers Association for working together to um, recognize our staffing issues. And we all um, have met numerous times and can agree that our detentions is a key component to resolving some of the staffing issues that we've been facing over the years. As part of this week's hiring bonus deal, new detentions deputies are required to serve the sheriff's office for a five-year term or as a sworn county peace officer. You can start your career today by applying at kcsojobs.org or attending our upcoming detentions deputy recruitment event on Wednesday, January 25th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m at the Kern County Detentions Officers Association, located at 3701 Pegasus Drive, Suite 103 in Bakersfield. And to make the hiring process go smoothly, the Sheriff's Office has created a new state-of-the-art recruitment website designed to showcase current job openings and provide potential new hires with a look at what it's like to work for KCSO. Just visit kcsojobs.org to hear from current sworn and civilian staff about their experience. Connect with Kern County Human Resources and view all online job applications, descriptions and requirements, along with position salaries and incentives. There's also a tool to help you get started in the field of law enforcement, which shows you each step you need to take in order to serve your community as a sworn deputy. Again, to get started with the application process and learn more, please visit kcsojobs.org. Also during this week's board meeting, supervisors proclaimed January as Human Trafficking Awareness Month here in Kern County. This annual campaign is carried out by the Kern Coalition Against Human Trafficking, which includes partners from across our community, as well as our very own county departments, such as the Sheriff's Office and Human Services. It goes without saying that even one case of human trafficking is too many. And unfortunately, California has had a higher number of human trafficking cases than any other state in the U.S. Due to Kern County's uh, unique location within California, along two main travel corridors, we've also seen a disproportionate number of these cases occurring in our own backyard. This is unacceptable. We need to be doing everything we can as a community, uh, as a county, to, to put an end to this. This month, the coalition will be educating the community about how to spot human trafficking and combat it within our community. 
From social media to a series of events, including a 5K race against human trafficking and an educational movie premiere, you can get involved with this important campaign. To learn more, please visit Kern County Human Services website at kcdhs.org. And you can also get involved in helping our community that is homeless this year. Anna Marie Odo has more. Right now, you can help address homelessness in Kern County by volunteering for this year's Point in Time Count through the Bakersfield Kern Regional Homeless Collaborative. Kern County is proud to partner with the Collaborative on this event, which is taking place January 25th from 3.30 in the morning to 10.30 in the morning. The point in time count is designed to understand the scope of homelessness in Kern County. Volunteers will be tasked with counting the number of unhoused people in our region on a single day. These results will help our county departments and local service providers effectively allocate resources to address one of the biggest issues impacting our community. The Bakersfield Kern Regional Homeless Collaborative needs 300 volunteers, and you can sign up right now. Just visit bkrhc.org. And we're ending today with how you can get healthy this year. Kern County Public Health and Behavioral Health and Recovery Services have partnered together on their latest campaign, Grounded in Health. This year's long initiative is about finding the balance and importance in taking care of both your mental and physical health. Mental health and physical health are interconnected. Both can be positively and negatively impacted by how our bodies are cared for. Mental health is enhanced, it's supported when we treat ourselves in a holistic manner, addressing our physical health, emotional health, our spiritual health, and our social health patterns and behaviors. Approaching even just one of these areas has potential and meaningful impacts on all of our domains of well-being. Grounded in Health's theme is a tree with each root, trunk, and branch offering a tip to keep you feeling your best. We're proud to announce we'll be having Public Health and Kern BHRS on our show each month to unveil their resources and suggestions. To get involved and access this free and important campaign, please visit their new website, kerngroundedinhealth.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.